Elon Musk explains the Twitter layoffs. Fire them all. So, uh, I mean, to, to be frank, uh, Twitter was having pretty serious revenue challenges and cost challenges um, before the acquisition talks started. Yeah, they had like 10,000 people working there. On Half of them weren't doing shit. Um, has had a hard time. So uh, if you look at, say, Snap uh, or, you know, uh, Google, Facebook, whatnot, they've all had a difficult time with uh, advertising revenue dropping. Yep. Um, and Twitter is more, uh, you know, currently. Uh, the biggest thing is this, when you're relying on advertisers to fund your platform, which a lot of these social media platforms do, there's a saying that goes, if the product is free, you are the product. Meaning that, you know, if these social media services are free to use and there's nothing for you to pay, you're the product. You're the one being sold to. You're the one that these advertisers are pushing stuff to, pushing agendas to, you know, pushing political campaigns to, pushing products to, right? For me as an advertiser myself with a few companies, right? It's great. You know, I get ad space to spend money and acquire new customers. It's awesome. But a lot of times that makes these social media platforms kind of under the helm of these companies. You know, if these companies that are spending hundreds of millions of dollars filling the pockets of these uh, companies like Twitter, Facebook, right? They're probably gonna, you know, if, if these companies say, hey, can you push one of our things? Or, hey, we have this thing coming up or, Hey, we have a, you know, a new candidate that we want to push. Can you, you know, take this off or can you boost this up or can you boost that down? You know, they're probably going to adhere to that because they want these advertisers to keep spending money with them, right? Because that's how they function. That's how they pay their employees. That's how they make money, right? So it all trickles down to that, you know? So what he's doing with adding like the Twitter blue or adding these things that it's going to, you know, generate revenue for the company and rely less on advertisers. It's going to, it's going to be a good thing because it's going to allow for more freedom. More vulnerable than they are to uh, advertising because most of Twitter's advertising is large brand advertising as yep. opposed to direct response. So it's kind of like a much more of a discretionary uh, ad spend than it is for, uh, you know, if, like if you, if, you, if you can do direct response for a specific product. Um, so, and, and then we also recently had, had a lot of difficulty with um, uh, activist groups uh, pressuring uh, major advertisers yep. to stop spending money on Twitter. For sure, yeah, um, there you go. This is despite us doing everything possible to appease them um, and to make it clear that moderation rules and hateful conduct rules have not changed uh, and we're continuing to enforce them. Um, the yeah, It's really interesting to see all these brands that are saying, oh my God, uh, Twitter's content guidelines are so bad under Elon Musk. But it's like, what about over the last 10 years that Twitter wouldn't censor all the child pictures that were online you know how about all that weird shit that's on there how about all the you know just even the uh the prawn in general you know what i'm saying like on, on the timelines all the obscene things that twitter allows right over the last 10 years before elon was on there it wasn't a problem but now all of a sudden that he's the ceo that he's advocating for free speech it's now all of a sudden an issue a, a number mm. of major advertisers have stopped sounds like a scam um so this but this is this doesn't seem right because um, we've made no change in our operations. Yeah, exactly. All. And um, but nonetheless, the activist groups have been successful in, in, in causing a massive drop in For sure. advertising revenue. And we've done our absolute best to appease them and nothing is working. So this is a major concern. And I think this is, frankly, an attack on the First Amendment. Yeah. Like bunch of fucking crybabies, bro. Groups can pressure uh, advertisers upon which Twitter is fundamentally dependent. Um, at a certain point, yes, it's good to have groups, you know, hold these companies accountable, right? But at the same time, if they're canceling these companies for being on a platform just because they don't like someone's view or just because they think, uh, like, again, me as an advertiser, do I give a flying shit what Elon does, what Mark Zuckerberg does, whoever anyone does? No, I just want to run my ads. I just want to get my products out there and I just want to sell things. Of course, I'm a lot smaller company than compared to like an Apple or something like that. So maybe I don't have that type of uh, culture that I have to appease to. You know what I'm saying? But for small business owners like myself, it's not a big deal. If you guys like this video, hit that like button and check out these two videos right here. They're similar. Another two bangers guaranteed. Peace.